The observable universe contains more than two trillion galaxies. Each of those galaxies holds, on average, about 100 to 400 billion stars. And more than 70% of them host planets. That means there could be more than 300 sextillion planets in the observable universe. That's a three followed by 23 zero. If even a tiny fraction of those planets had the right conditions for life, then statistically, the universe should be teeming with intelligent civilizations. And yet, we see no signs of them. No signals, no probes, no megastructures, not a single alien whisper in the cosmic dark. Even with conservative numbers, Drake equation suggests there should be around one to two civilizations in our own Milky Way. And there are two trillion other galaxies. If intelligent life should be out there, why isn't it? To begin answering that, we must first understand the ingredients of life itself. The basic elements of the universe are common. Liquid water is one of the most critical ingredients in the search for life. It provides the perfect environment for organic molecules to move, interact, and assemble into more complex structures. Carbon atoms form stable, complex chains. Its ability to create four covalent bonds allows for highly diverse and flexible molecular structures. This chemical versatility makes carbon the ideal backbone for life's complex systems. Life also needs a constant energy supply. On Earth, this mostly comes from sunlight and, in some cases, from chemical reactions underground or underwater. Without energy, cells can't survive or reproduce. A planet must orbit at just the right distance from its star. If a planet is too close to its star, water evaporates. Too far, and it freezes. Only within this narrow range can stable liquid water. But life needs more than just ingredients. They all need to be in the right place at the right time. When we evaluate the known requirements for life, we find that most exoplanets fail to meet several of these conditions. Also, a stable atmosphere, magnetic shielding, active geology, and billions of years of climate stability are all essential for life. Many exoplanets fail to meet these criteria, but astronomers have identified hundreds of worlds that do. And yet, we've found no trace of life. How do we explain this silence? One explanation is that life, especially intelligent life, is extremely rare. Although the basic elements for life are widespread, the transition from chemistry to biology may be extraordinarily unlikely. Earth may be a statistical outlier, a planet where life emerged against overwhelming odds. Technological civilizations might consistently destroy themselves before achieving interstellar communication. Developing nuclear weapons, artificial intelligence, or unstable global systems may destroy civilizations before they ever leave their planets. In that case, advanced life does emerge, but doesn't survive long enough to spread or send signals. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has scanned the skies for decades without detecting a signal. But if all civilizations adopt a listening posture and avoid broadcasting, the universe becomes a quiet place. It's possible we're in a galaxy full of listeners, but no speakers. Alien civilizations might use communication technologies we cannot detect. They could operate in wavelengths beyond our current understanding, or even exist as non-biological entities. Advanced civilizations may view emerging species like humans as primitive, uninteresting, or potentially dangerous. In this framework, Earth may simply not warrant a response. The Great Filter is a theoretical barrier in the development of life that prevents most civilizations from advancing to a detectable stage. It could occur at any point. The origin of life, the jump to multicellular organisms, or the leap from technology to space colonization. 
According to the zoo hypothesis, extraterrestrial civilizations are deliberately avoiding contact with us. This could be a form of non-interference policy, similar to how we avoid influencing isolated human tribes. Earth might be considered a developing ecosystem under observation, rather than one ready for integration into a galactic community. A rift sobering possibility is that we are alone. That humanity is the only intelligent life in the observable universe. If no one else is coming, then the future of intelligence in the universe may depend entirely on us. The Fermi paradox remains unsolved. Each year, new telescopes, exoplanet missions, and AI detection systems push our search further. Whether we find alien life or confirm our solitude, the answer will redefine our place in the cosmos. Until then, we continue to listen, we continue to ask, and we continue to wonder. <laughs>